Hello! This time I'll show you how to make a cyclone the separator from two buckets. For this build I'll use one big bucket with cover and second bucket which is a little bit smaller. The big bucket will be container for sawdust and shavings. Meantime, smaller bucket will be acting as a cyclone dust separator. To join them together, I made a ring from 60mm plywood. Mark bucket outline. I bold and draw a second line to form 25mm ring. Drill two 50mm of diameter holes and mark baffle outline. All was cut with a jigsaw. That's how we're looking prepared parts. Mark the surface on a bucket cover, which will be cut out later. Mark the line which indicates the thickness of plywood. This will be a reference to drill and screw ring to the bucket. Use 60mm long wood screws with flat heads. With utility knife, cut a hole in bucket cover. Clamped, pre drill holes for screws and marked cover position. To get tight seal, I use silicone. Also, applied silicone between bucket and plywood ring. Nice tight seal. To make dust inlet, I used 50 mm of diameter and 30 degrees angle PVC elbow. Drill a hole in a bucket, mark reference line and with utility knife shave it to proper shape. I repeat it few times until I get tight fit. Drilled 3mm hole in elbow and regarding that drilled a hole in a bucket. This will be a fixing point. In opposite elbow side drilled 7mm hole to be able to reach wood screws with a screwdriver. Use small piece of plywood and tighten all together. Drill 50mm hole to prepare connection for a bag hose. From 60mm plywood made an adapter for PVC pipe. Drill 4 holes, applied silicone and screwed in place. It is time to measure a good place for baffle and screw it in place.
holds very firmly. The two components epoxy glue seal joint line between PVC elbow and a bucket. For a wire hose connection, cut 85mm length PVC pipe. Use silicone to glue and seal it in place. And that's it! Cyclone dust separator is finished! Total separator height is 52 centimeters. I'm using small but powerful vacuum cleaner, which already have a small cyclone inside. The problem is that dust container is ridiculously too small for woodworking. That's the main reason why I build this separator. It is time to check, does it work at all? I clean my miter saw over place. This separator ain't reduced suction power, so I'm very happy with that. The only question is, what about efficiency? That dust container looks nice and clean. That means... All sawdust must be in a bucket. I'm really excited with that cyclone efficiency. This cyclone dust separator let me to use my small vacuum cleaner with no power loss. Also, it will keep running without filling up dust container and clogging internal filters. If this video was helpful, like and subscribe. Don't forget to check my other videos. Thanks for watching.